The OPP officer responsible for a fatal 2008 crash that killed an 18-year-old girl has been sentenced to two years in prison. Daryl Story pleaded guilty to dangerous driving, causing death in the middle of his trial back in September. In a bit of a surprise today, the Crown and Defence put forward a joint sentencing submission asking for two years behind bars. Matt Scooby has more on the sentence and reaction from the victim's family. I will never have closure, I think. Um, I will always miss my daughter every second. We are such a close family. Jasmine Veneruzzo's last words to her mom, Brenda, on the day she died were, love you. She revealed that in her victim impact statement today in what was an emotional day for the entire Veneruzzo family. Even though OPP Sergeant Daryl Story was sentenced to two years in jail, Brenda says she'll never forgive the man who caused the accident that killed her daughter. Her husband, Louis, admits that there's still a lot of grieving to do. Just brings a close, closure to one chapter of this, this yes. whole thing. Yes, so. exactly. uh, you can never bring my daughter back. Justice Cass Harold deems Story solely responsible for the collision that occurred on December 3, 2008 at the intersection of Highway 1117 and Twin City Crossroads. During his trial, the court heard Story was driving the unmarked police car around 200 kilometers per hour while he tested out the car's steering. The judge agreed with a joint submission from the Crown and Defence Council for sentencing, which includes a five-year ban on operating a motor vehicle. It was also revealed in court that Story was suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder prior to the accident. Defense attorney Leo Kinahan is pleased with today's outcome. It's a fair sentence that came out of it. It, it gives closure to everybody. Uh, the Veneruzzo family has been through a lot, but uh, again, Daryl Story's been through a lot as well, and that came out in court, uh, the things that have gone on with him, with his employment, his personal life, and it's uh, an appropriate resolution at the end of the day, in my opinion. After the proceedings, the Veneruzos also reveal Jasmine's future ambition, and though she won't be able to do it herself, her parents are hopeful she can still save lives. Her, she wanted to be a pediatrician to save lives. And I said to the judge in my victim impact statement that I hope her death was not in vain, that the sentence just reflects the fact that someone else will not do the same actions. In a statement read by his lawyer, Story says if he could take back his actions, he would do so in a heartbeat. He goes on to say that he'll live with this forever and can't express strongly enough how much he regrets his actions. As a police officer, there's concern for Story's safety in prison. And because of that, Justice Harold has issued a strong recommendation that Story serve his time at the Bear Creek facility in Gravenhurst. Ultimately, that decision will lie with Corrections Canada. Matt Scooby, TBT News.